Hey, my glam family. Hey, my glam sisters. How you guys are doing today? I'm doing pretty well. It is Pink Wednesday. Happy Pink Wednesday. As you can already see from the title, of course, we are going to be doing an unboxing video today from Perfusion Cosmetics. And for those who don't know what Perfusion Cosmetics is, it is a brand that is very affordable. It reminds me of ColourPop because they are a bit similar in their ways when it comes to like making makeup products in different themes, uh, collaborating with movies and characters and things like that. In Perfusion, they have different collaborations like Jurassic Park, Casper the Friendly Ghost, and of course, the Mean Girls. And that's what we're going to be doing today. Let me show y'all my shirt. I got this from Target. So it says, on Wednesdays, we wear pink. So I hope you guys are wearing pink, okay? If you're not, you can't sit with us. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding, y'all. I watch Mean Girls a lot, okay? <laughs> so as you guys probably already know or don't know that they just did a reboot with the Mean Girls. And... I want to go watch it, but at the same time, I'm getting mixed reviews about it because I heard it's not that great. Some people say that it's good. I don't know. I just don't know. Like, comment down below. Have you guys watched the new Mean Girls and what y'all think? Because I don't know if I want to go watch it now based on what I'm hearing because I heard it's a musical, but I don't know. But, um... I did saw that they had some cute merchandise that they were offering at the movie theaters and that's what I really wanted <laughs> because they had this cute popcorn tin that um, it's so pretty, you know, and I wanted it. And they had a tumbler too, which I did not understand why the popcorn tin and then the little small tumbler is both like $15, like come on now. Like, they shouldn't have priced it like that. Like, the tumbler should be lesser than the popcorn tin because the popcorn tin is bigger. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, the movie theater sometimes is a joke. But, anyways, I'm excited because I'm surprised that Perfusion, they still had the Mean Girls collaboration. And a couple years ago, I did bought this palette from Walmart for, I forgot how much it cost. But I remember I saw it. I'm like, I have to get this. And if you guys haven't seen my video, I did a makeup look with this palette. And this palette is so pretty. And I love how pigmented and bright these colors are. Like it's so beautiful. As I mentioned earlier that I thought that um, ColourPop and Perfusion is like similar. And I heard iffy things about ColourPop. I heard their formula is not that great when it comes to their eyeshadow palettes and stuff. That's just what I heard. And if you guys, have you guys used ColourPop stuff? I mean, I ain't gonna lie. I did order their lippy stick pencils, uh, like a collection of them, but I haven't used them yet. But with their eyeshadow palettes, I don't know. But if you have used their eyeshadow palettes, let me tell me what you think about them. Like, is they like, I don't know. Are they quality? Like based on your experience, is it bad? Like, I don't know. I just hear mixed reviews about ColourPop. So that's the reason why I asked. But anyways, we're gonna get straight into the unboxing. I'm very excited. I'm surprised, like I said, that they still even had this collaboration still. They only have a few items on there. But of course, I'm gonna link it down below for you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and open this box. So let's get straight into it. Ooh. Oh, they gave me a free gift. Oh, that is so sweet. Okay, here we go. Oh, Fusion Cosmetics, you guys are so sweet. You guys didn't have to give me this. This is a free gift. It says, thank you for your purchase. Enjoy your free gift. Aw, you guys are so sweet. So we definitely got to look at this too, of course. Let's get the Mean Girls collaboration out the way. So the first thing we're going to look at is these beautiful lashes. How pretty are these? 
And of course, these lashes got different personalities according to the characters like Katie Heron, Regina George, Gretchen Wieners, and what's that girl name? Karen Smith. <laughs> I forgot her name for a moment. But um, yeah, it does show personality with these lashes. Like Katie, she's more basic, not too much, you know what I'm saying? And of course, with Regina, she has to be dramatic, right? Because she is dramatic, like, of course. And she got a lot of volume with hers. And Gretchen, she is dramatic too, but not as dramatic as Regina. And with Karen, you know, she's in her own little world, have a little volume, you know what I'm saying? And it's nice that they give you some glue to go with these lashes, like these are so beautiful. So next we got is the brush kit along with the makeup bag. This packaging is so cute. I love how they had this confetti in here. Look at that, ain't that cute? But we're gonna open it. See, this whole box is just pretty. I just love the detail. Makes me wanna keep this, okay. So they give you three brushes here. And these are very small brushes, by the way. This is a little powder brush. This is very cute. It's very soft. It doesn't feel scratchy. So I'll give that an A plus. So that is a very pretty brush. This is a blending brush. And I just don't like how this is bending a little bit. The bristles are bending. But um, yeah, this is definitely a blending brush to blend your eyeshadow. And this one is a, ooh, let's get that together. This is a crease brush, they say. So of course you apply your eyeshadow to the crease with this and you use the blending brush to blend it out. And yeah, this is a very cute little mini brushes here. That's adorable. I love how they got these little sprinkles in them. Very cute. Of course, how gorgeous is this mini bag? Love the freaking detail of this bag. Like, I love the holographic effect here. Like, woo, this is so pretty, OMG. I love it. Of course, you just put your little mini brushes in here. And you can use this for anything, really. Like, you can put pencils in here, pens, you know, anything, really. But this little cute little bag is just gorgeous. Like, wow. That is just a very beautiful bag. Like, look at the details, guys. Look at this beautiful detail. I couldn't resist from not buying this, okay? Like, it was so cute. So next we have are these beautiful eyeshadow palettes that are named for each character. So we're gonna open this and go through each one. This is Gretchen Wieners. This is Katie Heron. This is Karen Smith and Regina George. So we're gonna go through each one. Let's start off with Regina George, okay? How cute is this? Look at this one. This is so different. Like, are you serious? This one is pretty too. I'm gonna swatch it for you guys, so don't worry, okay? So, ooh, I'm kinda scared for this one because it seems like it can, be, it can get messy. Let's see. Ooh. Look at that. Okay. Let's do a swatch here. Okay. Not too thrilled about it, really. It's like for this, you definitely gonna need to pack it on a few times in order to get that even look. Because yeah, one swipe ain't gonna cut it or one tap and stuff ain't gonna cut it. You definitely gonna need a couple more uh coats of this or layers i should say not coats but yeah it's cute but i'm not too thrilled about it but yeah I had this shade right here this beautiful brown swirl 
Okay, this is like a shimmer. I think you guys can see the shimmer from here, but it is shimmer. Okay, but it's very, very, very sheer. So that's just my opinion. I don't know if a sheer is the right word, but yeah, it, you could barely see the shimmer when it comes to the camera. So, so of course we're gonna do this hot pink shimmer here. This might be sheer as well. It doesn't look too bad. It looks pigmented when I rub it with my fingers, but let's see. Oh, that's definitely pigmented. Look at that. Now that definitely stand out for real. That is so pretty. Definitely love that hot pink. That is so cute. And then last and not least, we're gonna do this shade right here. It's like a nude pink. Look like a nude pink or a rose gold. But yeah, we're going to try that out. Yeah, it's like a nude pink. And it's pigmented too. Yep, that is definitely pigmented. That is very cute. I would say my favorite from the Regina George palette is that hot pink one. I'm surprised the other one wasn't, but it's like when it comes to that type of eyeshadow, you definitely got to pack on like a lot of layers in order to get that even look. So that's just my thing about that. But yeah, the hot pink one, the shimmer one is definitely my favorite. Next, we're going to do Gretchen Wieners. This is a blue themed palette. Very pretty. That's what it looks like without the plastic on it. This is very pretty. But we're gonna go ahead and we're going to do this light blue shade first. Looks very bright. I like it. That is very nice. Let's try this shade right here. That is cute. That is pretty. If you want to keep building up that color, you can definitely do that. Let's go to this one right here. This is like a blue shimmer shade. Oh, ooh, that is a gorgeous blue. Oh my goodness. That is gorgeous. Look at that. That's my favorite. That's my favorite so far with the Gretchen Wieners palette. That's my top one. That is so pretty. And last but not least, we're going to do this shade right here. It's the same thing, you know, like the last one with Regina George. Because, of course, you got to. Yeah, I, I don't really like this one at all. Because, yeah, like I said before, like, you definitely got to pack on more layers of this. I don't know. That's not my favorite. And I was very excited about that one. But I just believe that with this type of shade, you definitely need some type of glitter glue to make sure that glitter stays on your lid. Because, yeah, it's not giving, to be honest. The Gretchen Wieners palette, this shade right here. That's my favorite. Okay guys, so next we got Karen Smith. So she's more of the purple color here. That's what it looks like. Very pretty. I love this one right here, this unique shade here. I love that one. So we're gonna try that first. Okay, it's very cute. Okay, yeah, it's very, very, very sheer. Like you could barely see it. So you definitely gotta apply more layers in order to give it more color, to build the color up, to give it more pigmentation. Yeah, so I don't know. Like to be honest, when it comes to like shimmer shades, I want it to be pigmented as possible. Like one layer, I wanna see that pigmentation like but sometimes you gotta build it up anyway, but that's just me. Maybe I'm just having high expectations on that, but yeah, that's just me. So let's try this light purple one. So this is a little shimmer, so I'm sure. Oh, okay. So this will look like, okay. Not too bad. Okay. That's pretty. Very pretty little purple shimmer. I like that, that's kind of cute. We're gonna try this dark purple. 
very pigmented. Okay, not too bad. And then finally, we're going to try the glitter shade. And that's what it looked like. That's actually really pretty. Okay, I like this one. This is my favorite so far. This right here, that's my favorite. Compared to Gretchen's and Regina's, this is my favorite one so far. It kind of packed on a bit better than what I did with the other ones. Finally, guys, we got Miss Katie Heron, which she got all the green shades here. This is what she looks like. This is so cute. Let's see what Miss Katie Heron has to offer. So we're starting off with this gorgeous green. Okay, not too bad. Of course, like I said, Previously, you definitely need to pack on that color to give it that good pigmentation. Hey okay, guys, so these are the remaining shades from that palette. I'm not too thrilled about this palette, to be honest. Um, This is supposed to be like a little bluish greenish shimmer. So I don't know if y'all can see that. That is the Katie Heron eyeshadow palette. Hey guys, so the last thing I got from this Mean Girls collection is the candy graham set look how gorgeous this is like i love the packaging and i'm definitely keeping this well of course i have to keep it because there's an eyeshadow palette in here that is so freaking cute open it as you can see not only do they give you an eyeshadow palette but they also give you these cute face gems these little rhinestones along with some adhesive glue and I believe they give you a mascara and some, I think this is an eyeliner pencil, something like that. I'm definitely going to go through each one. Guys, so after struggling for about a few minutes to get this open, we can go ahead and go through each of these items here. So as you could already see, look how beautiful are these little face gems, these little rhinestones. That is so freaking cute. Of the fact that they even offer to give us a glitter adhesive glue for the rhinestones. So that is definitely a plus. So I definitely appreciate that in case I wanna use these face gems. Of course, they give you a little mascara. This is very, very small. This is what the brush look like. I'm not sure about this brush. It looks very cheap, in my opinion. It looks very cheap. And I don't know if it's gonna really lengthen my lashes because my lashes are very short and it just looks very cheap. I don't really like how this brush looks, in my opinion. But um, yeah, maybe this could be for like little touch-ups of your mascara. This is definitely great to just put in your purse just in case if you thought you brought your mascara that you like, but you don't have it, but you have this, there you go. You have a mascara to use. I mean, I don't know the performance of this, but yeah. They give you an eyeliner pencil. Of course, it's a black eyeliner pencil. Okay, it's not too bad. It does make some good precision lines. So yeah, it does give you that precision fine lines that you can use for under your eyes, of course. So I'll definitely use this for sure. And then you guys, they give you some loose glitter, which is very pretty. And I believe that's what the glitter adhesive glue is for as well. So this is very beautiful. I love this. I don't know when I'm gonna use it. Maybe I'm not gonna use it, but just for the collection, just to like display or anything like that, I would definitely would just use it for that. But in case if I wanted to try this glitter out, I would, so yeah. The only thing about glitter is that it can be very, very, very messy, especially loose glitter. So that's the only thing that I'm scared of because glitter can be hard to get rid of, you know what I'm saying? If you don't got the right materials or the right things to clean it off. So 
that's my only concern about glitter when it comes to makeup. It can be very messy, but cute at the same time. And last but not least, of course, we got our little eyeshadows. Um, some of these look like they're going to come out, though. Like these pans. Yeah, some of them look like they're about to slip out. Like, nope, that's not what we finna do. Keep y'all selves in y'all spots. Okay, I don't need you slipping and falling on my white sweatpants. Then we gonna have a problem, Perfusion Cosmetics. I'm just kidding. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and I'm gonna go into, I'm not gonna swatch all of them, but just to see how well and pigmented these shades are, I'm going to swatch just a few of them for you guys. So we're gonna go ahead and do an interesting one i'm thinking of this winter talent show one which is this really cute blue oh where are you going get your butt right back in where you were you're gonna fall out of here who do you think you are anyway <laughs> let's go ahead and try to swatch this this is very beautiful look at that Look at that, that is so pretty. I ain't gonna lie to you. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the application, the swatch is not that great, okay? Like, it looks so beautiful when I rub it with my finger, but when you try to do a swatch, it just doesn't apply right. I'm gonna go ahead and we're going to try this green shimmer shade which is called on your left i'm always on your left <laughs> okay that's not bad that's not bad at all for a shimmer shade that is very cute right here is like a mint green a mint green is a very beautiful color do another shade and we are going to go ahead and do this Oh my gosh. Which one should I do? Um <laughs> I'm having a hard time to pick which one I should do. Um let's go ahead and do this boom boss. We're going to do this dark brown. Oh yeah, that's definitely pigmented. Look at that. I feel like the darker shades definitely pops out more, in my opinion. <gasps> yes, that is definitely pigmented. Okay. I really like that. I do like neutral shades, so I really like this brown. It's definitely, it did apply very smoothly and very well. It just glided on there. There you guys have it. The Mean Girls collection with Perfusion Cosmetics, along with this palette that I got from Walmart as well. So there we go. This is my whole collection of Mean Girls right here. Overall, the pink, the aesthetic, the packaging is 10 out of 10 for me. The quality of the makeup, uh, I'll give it about a seven okay seven out of ten because even though some of the eyeshadow was pigmented than others and i didn't like the glitter shades as much the ones that are packed in not as like pigmented as i hoped they would be because they do look nice when i rubbed it with my finger but when i swatch it they didn't apply as well so I hope that makes sense. I did put the link to these items down below so you guys can go ahead and check that out for yourself. And the sun finally came out today. Okay, now it looks more bright in here. Okay, like I said, we definitely gotta check out this little palette that they gave me as a free gift, which that is so sweet, Perfusion Cosmetics. I definitely appreciate a free gift, you know what I'm saying? Well, this palette is called Mini Ruby. It's such a pretty palette. It got orange, red. Uh, I think this is like a lighter orange and then like a gold shimmer shade. So let's go ahead and swatch these and 
that will be the last thing that we're going to be doing for this video. So let's go ahead and try this brown shade first. Or it looks brown, like a little orange shade. Okay. It looks more like a brownish, orangish shade. So let's go ahead and see what we got here. That is very pretty. Look at that. I love that. And I love how it just smoothly just glide onto my skin when I try to make the swatch. That is so freaking nice. Go ahead and do this golden shimmer shade. That's what it look like. Ooh, I'm liking this. That's pretty. You probably can barely see it because it kind of blends to my skin tone, but that is very beautiful. I really love it. Dang it. Y'all, I'm so upset. Now I got powder all on my sweatpants and it's white. <laughs> Maybe this wasn't a good idea to wear white sweatpants. Lord Jesus, now I gotta wash it now. All right, let's go ahead and finish. So we're gonna do this red, not red, this, it looks red. Red in person, but it looks orange in the camera. Maybe it's because of the, uh, 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 whatchamacallit, maybe because of the lighting. But um, yeah, this is definitely red, okay. Sorry guys, this is not orange, this is red. A very bright red at that. Last and not least, we got this darker red right here. All right, it kind of looks the same like the other one, but it's a darker red, I promise. Yeah, you definitely got to pack it on for sure to give it that more color. But yeah, that's what it looks like. I don't know about that one. It looks, it's like a... <laughs> It looks darker, but I don't know. I can't really explain it. That's the palette along with the swatches. I'll give this like a nine. It's nice. I like the pigmentation here, but I'll give this a nine. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy this video. The collection is very pretty aesthetically. Like if you want to buy this for collection wise, go for it. This palette right here that I got before, this is really nice. I love how pigmented these shades are. Like, let me open it one more time, one more time, one more time. But yeah, when I did my video a few weeks ago or a couple weeks ago, I just love how it just packed onto my lid. Like it just easily glides on. It's this color range is just beautiful to me. So I just love this palette, period, so. But yeah, you might wonder, do they still have them? I don't know. I didn't see it online, so probably not. I got this from Walmart, so I don't know if they have it at Walmart. I'm not sure. Yeah, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys have a blessed day. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.